Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Beginning of the week for me and beginning of the week for most of you. Here is pick your team number six of Absolute Football. 2017 Manini Absolute Football. Mark got the last two teams all at once. So he's got two last bot mojo stars there. So thanks to Mark and thanks to everybody for getting into the action. Really like this Absolute Football stuff. All right. Seems like you guys do too. All right, there we go. All ten boxes for this break. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Good luck, boys and girls. So, football, ladies and gentlemen, in full swing. All of week one, all of week one's actions are now in the books. Now let me ask everybody a question. Hobby wise, now we have there's a lot of rookie running backs. This might be a golden age of rookie running backs, um, or like young running backs in the next handful of years, because there were a lot of r running backs that were selected in the draft, and there was a lot that did really well. So. Of the rookie running backs, who do you think is going to have the best season? Like, especially hobby-wise, you know, who's going to who's be, who's going to be getting that Ezekiel Elliott doe the way he he skyrocketed last year? Kareem Hunt definitely had a great start to the season. Dalvin Cook looked good. Leonard Fournette looked good. That could be interesting. All right, start with Aaron Jones, 66 out of 499 for the Packers. And there's D.D. Westbrook, 195 out of 290. Might be seeing more of him now that Allen Robinson has gone down. Kyle Kramer, Nate says Kareem Hunt. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He'll get, his he'll get the touches too. Um, Kyle Kramer says Dalvin Cook will eventually push above it all. There you go. What up, X-Line? Are you in this one? Yeah, you got the Niners and Chiefs in this one, I think. Then there's David and Yoku. You got a couple base cards right here. Kid Reporter card. There's Mike Williams. And one for the Chargers, autograph for the Chargers, 002 out of 325. Artavis Scott for the Los Angeles Chargers for Scott Cooper. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head how much the Jaguars were in this break. How much were they, you guys? There's Jimmy Garoppolo, one out of 99, triple relic for the Patriots. Pat's hit going to Karen. Jags had to be what, like 70, 80 bucks in this break? Out of 4.99, Joe Montana. Yeah, I know, I heard, I saw that X line. Indians won again, probably not good news for my Dodgers. As long as the Indians are winning, the Dodgers will keep losing. Um, triple Relic and Autograph, Carlos Henderson, 94 out of 99. For the Broncos, that was a good game last night. Close one for the Broncos. They pulled it out in the end. Um, Mark Bellinger says, only watched Dalvin Cook. Didn't look too bad. No, he didn't. He looked pretty solid. William Hummel says he thinks Fournette will be the one that ends up being the best of the bunch. Absolute uh, rookie jerseys, Mitch Trubisky, 3 out of 25. That'll go to the Bears. Jeremy Merle with the Bears in this absolute break.
There it is. And there's Jordy Nelson and Eli Manning. Now, what are these? Oh, these are the base card. Oh, these are these inserts. Gotcha. All right. Next box. So let's hear some knee-jerk reactions from everybody. After week one, how did your team do? And what is your uh, what is your overreaction? Good or bad? What is what is your knee-jerk reaction? For my Raiders, my knee-jerk reaction after beating the Titans in Tennessee, uh, Super Bowl, W, unstoppable. There it is. Defense, our weakness, secondary. Weakness, back on track. D, there's D.D. Westbrook, rookie roundup. There's Robert Kelly, 9 out of 32. Redskins with kind of a sputtering start. X-Line, his overreaction. Already, uh, already booked his Super Bowl ticks for the Chiefs. Head to toe, nice Mitch Trubisky, 5 out of 99. Piece of the helmet and piece of the cleat, I believe. Nice. Head to toe. I gotta put these in a different box. They don't fit in the normal. Wait, Kyle, who who is your team again? It's Kyle Kramer saying his defense defense amazing offense high school level. This is Franco Harris picking it up off the ground. Twenty-five out of four ninety-nine. That's for the uh, Steelers. Peter Eng. Oh, Seahawks, right. 3 out of 99, triple relic and autograph, Patrick Mahomes. Nice one for X-Line, the X-Line and the Chiefs. Yeah, Andy Dalton, that was a, that was not a good week for, uh, for Andy Dalton at all. Mark's like, hey, the Vikings didn't embarrass themselves. Let's set that right there. There's Eric Dickerson to 100, Colts edition. Yeah, that offensive line. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a. Th that's gonna be a problem all season long. Four thirty nine out of four ninety nine. D'Angelo Yancey for the Packers and this guy, Marks of Fame Ray guy for my Raiders. My Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? Michael G. Mike Cody says, Lions did okay. Kind of scares me at first. Lions could be an interesting team. Out of 99, there's Richard Sherman. Who is talking about you? Crabtree. Yeah, it's seeming like one per case Ray guy now, huh? Seahawks, that'll go to Mark G. And there's Julio and Delaney Walker. Next box. looking at kind of glancing at week one scores here so week one started just kind of we got time for some recaps right we got the Chiefs and Patriots they kicked off the football season on Thursday night Chiefs 42 Patriots 27 we'll see how the Patriots bounce back I'm sure they'll be fine 
But great start for the Chiefs. As the as the X line was saying, he's got he's got his uh, Super Bowl tickets already booked. And Kareem Hunt looks like the real deal. There's Dan Marino kickoff. There's marks of fame. Willie Rofe for the Saints. That's a one of one, Willie Rofe for the Saints. Car no, James. James S. with the Saints in this one. Nice one, James. James Scheisler with a one of one, marks of fame, Willie Rofe. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And we've got a dual relic team tandem, 49 out of 99, Ty Montgomery, Devontae Adams. That goes to the Packers, Mike Coster. Uh, poor David Johnson, he's out for a while. Amari Cooper had a nice game. There's Terrell Davis. 288 out of 499 for the Broncos. That'll go to Stephen Arthur. Absolute Inc. 77 out of 99 for the Packers. Gilbert Brown. Mike Coster. How about them Rams? Todd Gurley. Absolute jerseys. 29 out of 99. Looks like he's back. Looks like that. Looks like Sean McVay. Sprinkled his Sean McVay pixie dust all over the Rams offense. And now Jared Goff with 300 yards. Todd Gurley seems back on track. Cooper Cup, all those guys. That defense. I know they weren't I know the Colts weren't starting Andrew Luck, but you know, that defense is strong. If the offense can keep the defense off the field and keep them rested a little bit, that could be dangerous. They already had a good defense. Now they got Wade Phillips on there. 236 out of 499. Jonu Smith, Titans. We got a triple relic and autograph. That's Joe Mixon. 76 out of 399. He didn't really uh, insert himself into the game that much, I feel like. I don't think he got the numbers that the other rookie running backs did in their debuts, but Joe Mixon's time is coming. It's going to happen. Bengals, Ed Aarons with Joe Mixon. Should be fine. We got Brian Hoyer. Did not do fine. 12 out of 100. That's going to be a long season for the uh, 49ers. And there's DeAndre Washington. 46 out of 99. Dual relic. For the Raiders. <coughs> Excuse me. Got all choked up. Got all choked up about that emotional Raiders win. 26-16. Raiders over the Titans on the road. Um, what's great about the, the Raiders is that they... Um, there's Lamar Miller right here. Is that they finally have in in Marshawn Lynch? They finally have a guy that can kind of eat up clock at the end, close out those games, you know, and which is which is what they need, and they got it. So I'm I'm excited about the Raiders season. I liked the way Marshawn Lynch was being used. All right, CEO, we'll see you. I like the way Marshawn Lynch is being used, and um. You know, I think they'll keep him. They'll keep him fresh for the entire season. I hope guys like DeAndre Washington that we just pulled should keep Marshawn Lynch fresh. That offense looks looks like it's great. Steelers twenty one eighteen over the Browns. Uh, that was a lot closer than I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Steelers fans wanted it to be. I actually didn't watch too much of the game. How did how did uh how did Michael House's MH's uh, Super Bowl MVP? Deshaun Kaiser do. I think he did okay, right? Not bad for week one. I think Corey Coleman got a got a decent amount of work in, at least fantasy wise. There's Michael Irvin out of four ninety nine for the Cowboys. That goes to um, Scott Cooper with the Cowboys. Eighty nine out of ninety nine. Our Darius Stewart triple relic. And autograph for the Jets. That'll go to Kinjua Nguyen. Yeah, from, from the impression that I got, I don't think the Browns look too terrible, right? You know, I, the Browns have, are just loaded with talent. It just need, all needs to click. There's Neon Deion Sanders to 100, Brandon Cooks, and Marvin Jones Jr.
here it is. Adrian Peterson. Rough day at the office for the Saints. There's rookie reflex, Charles Harris, 2 out of 25 for the Dolphins. They haven't played yet. Dolphins, that'll go to Jeremy Anderson. All right, historical trios, 18 out of 49. Deion Sanders, Rod Woodson, Champ Bailey. That's a formidable trio there. So that'll be a randomizer at the end. And the next bit here, there's Ryan Switzer, 143 out of 499. He was on some punt return, special teams duties. Cowboys. Hey, Vikings, look at this. They had a great game. Fran Tarkenton, 8 out of 25 Hall of Fame jersey autographs. Sam Bradford looking pretty decent. Dalvin Cook looking good. The Vikings looking good. Vikings, let's get the score really quick. It was 29-19 over the Saints, and the Vikings looked pretty much in control, right, in the second half. 12 out of 25, Patrick Mahomes, two-color patch. Uh, that Vikings relic and auto goes to Jeremy Merle, and the X-Line has his Chiefs in this one. And there's Blake Bortles, and there's Danny Woodhead. Other scores, well, we talked briefly about the Lions and Cardinals. Kenny Galladay just going nuts. Um, 20 points in the fourth quarter for the Lions. 35-23, the final score. Matt Stafford doing his comeback thing. That was pretty great. Um, Saxonville. The Saxonville Jaguars. You see how many sacks they had? Against the Texans, they won 29-7. I think people had a lot of question marks. Yeah, Kyle, I was just getting to that. He, Kyle's like, LOL, how about them Texans getting blown up by the Jags? Jaguars may be in, if you want a bold prediction, Jaguars may be, could they be an outside chance? That's that's maybe too hot a take for me, but outside chance that they might be division winners? I don't know, we'll see. Too early to tell, but they did look good week one, 29-7. Now Texans have to play a short week. Texans have too much talent to allow that to continue happening, though. Um, fly, Eagles, fly. 30-17 to 17 over the Eagle, over the Redskins, that is. They're in-division rival. I mean, that was pretty nice. You know, Carson Wentz looks like he's picking up right where he left off. Was that Nelson? Did I see Nelson Aguilar making some big catches, Jason Jaspi? Man. If he can start catching, that's going to be dangerous. 165 out of 499, Barry Sanders. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, Carson Wentz has the weapon. Oh, look, there he is. 97 out of 99, triple relic and autograph. What a rookie premiere indeed. Kenny Galladay, Kenny G for the Lions. That goes to Chad Watanabe. Nice one, Chad. Kenny Galladay, two big touchdowns. Two big touchdowns for him. I'm sure the prices of his stuff have gone up. He had a nice day. Very nice day. Absolute rookie jerseys. Joe Mixon, 19 out of 25 for the Bengals. Ed with that one. It's Joe Mixon. There's Richard Sherman, who was talking about you, Crabtree. There's Allen Robinson. Poor Allen Robinson. And there's Paul Horning. Fantasy flashbacks. Look at this. 47 fantasy points. Two catches, 115 yards, five TDs. What happened here? Man. When's the last time a receiver had five touchdowns in a game? Rookie reflex, Chad Kelly, Denver Broncos, 75 out of 400. Uh, already talked about the Raiders. Raiders look good. 26-16 on the road over the Titans. I feel like the Titans had a great first half. Uh, Mariota had a great first half. Kind of slipped a little bit on the second half. I don't know if that's because of the Raiders' defense. The Raiders' defense is a little shaky. That secondary still... Front front eight, I think, is solid. This secondary still needs work. 
One out of 99, they might have gotten bailed out. Um, Jeremy Langford, Jordan Howard. That goes to the Bears. That's Jeremy Merle. There's Tannehill. There's Jordan Matthews. On this side, John U. Smith out of 499 Titans, speaking of. And nice. Rookie Premier Kareem Hunt. Triple Relic and Autograph. 84 out of 299. That's a big one for the X line. X line. Chiefs fan, of course. Chiefs looking very good on Thursday night against. This is this is a big big division rival for me this year. Although I, I have to say I don't hate the X line. I don't hate the Chiefs as much as I hate the Broncos. Broncos I definitely hate, you know, <laughs> for some reason. But I think like the Chiefs. I, I know they're they're rivals, but like I don't have like an active hate for them. <laughs> So anyway, there is Kareem Hunt, but these guys will definitely be the the big challengers for the division. All right there, dark horse candidate Chargers too, just a field goal away from beating the Broncos. Uh, Ravens, twenty to zero over the Bengals. Bengals not firing on all cylinders. Andy Dalton definitely not playing, not having a good game. It's probably why that maybe Joe Mixon didn't get into too much action as well. Not a good day at the office for the Bengals. Uh, Ravens look solid. Um, Falcons 23-17 over the Bears. Mike Lennon didn't look horrible. Falcons, uh, you know, they did what they needed to do. They didn't blow out anybody, but they were fine. Um, Bills looks pretty good, right? 21-12 over the Jets. Jets not looking very good. Bills looked good, though. 21-12. Offense moving along nicely. I don't know if Ron Bo is still listening, but Ron, feel good about your bills? He was happy earlier. He was just like, hey, first, first place in the AFC East, baby. When's the last time that happened? Shelton Gibson, 393 out of 499 for the Fly Eagles Fly. Ron says, good to see a win. More Vikings, Absolute Inc. Brett Favre, 4 out of 4. Jersey number. Nailed it this time. 4 out of 4, Brett Favre, Vikings edition. Jeremy Merle. Wow. Look at that. 4 out of 4, Brett Favre, Jeremy Merle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Vikings all day in the Breakers.tv stream. All he could all he could manage is dang. <laughs> I know, right? That was unexpected. That'll be on the Twitter at Jaspi's Hobbyland. 20 out of 25. 1, 2, 3, 4 color patch. Return of the Mac. Rookie Forest Mac Collins. Return of the Mac. That goes to Ellie and the Eagles. see keep this on the side I'm gonna take a picture of that I don't need these blitz cards here I know it's kind of out of nowhere yeah the red that rare Vi far Vikings card you don't see that too often kid reporter you got Deshaun Kaiser for the Browns rookie roundup looks like he had a solid day and iconic ink 52 out of 99 Henry Ellard for the Rams speaking of the Rams that was the next game I was going to talk about. 46 out of 46 out of 9. No, not 46 out of 9. 46 to 9. Now, they were playing an Andy an Andy Luckless Colts Rams. This will go to Joseph Johns with the Rams. But that offense putting up 46 points. All right, Jared Goff. Dust off your Jared Goff autographs. 8 out of 99. Triple relic for the Niners. Jerry Rice. Nice tools of the trade for the X-Line. He has the Niners. Game used, game used. Nice, game used. Antonio Brown, Isaiah Crowell. Ed Reed to 499, 105 out of 
You got Chris Godwin, 179 out of 299, triple relic and autograph. You got Marvin Harrison, 20 out of 25, and here's the case hit glass. Marvin Harrison Colts, that'll go to Jeremy Merle. And there's Demarius Thomas, but a nice game, nice Monday night. The glass is Matt Ryan for the Falcons, Atlanta Falcons. Josh Andrews with the Dirty Birds. Nice. Nice case hit. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Four boxes to go. Good luck. Um, some more games. Packers, 17, Seahawks, 9. How do we feel about that, folks? I don't think the glass are numbered, Nate, but they are cases. They only come one per case. Not too many of them out there. Seahawks. I know Kyle Kramer, Seahawks fan, was saying earlier that, man, that offensive line... Not good. Did hold the Packers to 17 points, though, all in the second half. That was, was closer than I thought it was going to be. But the Seahawks were, I mean, that offensive line is a big deal, right? And I don't know, I don't know if uh, if former Raider coach Tom Cable is really the guy anymore to get through to that offensive line as well. Forty-two out of forty-nine. Jake Butt, he's a tight end. I don't know how he did. I don't even know if he dressed last night. Broncos. That goes to Stephen Arthur. Did he play? Davis Webb. 93 out of 299, triple relic and autograph for the New York Football Giants. Giants on the board, Stephen Arthur. And a printing plate coming up for, for the Falcons. Nice, that's Brian Hill. Printing plate for Josh Andrews and the Dirty Birds. There you go, Josh. Nice one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! We got who is talking about you? Crabtree. And Jeremy Hill. I don't remember any Steelers autograph offhand. Does anybody else remember any Steelers autographs? I don't think so. We got Joe Montana to four ninety nine. There was Marks of Fame, Bob Lilly, 42 out of 99. There's Bob Lilly for the Cowboys, Scott Cooper with that one. Patrick Mahomes for the X-Line, 21 out of 175. That's for the X-Line and the Chiefs. And we've got Ryan Tannehill and Saints edition of Adrian Peterson. Kid Reporter. There's Michael Roberts, 170 out of 499. And rookie reflex autograph, Artavis Scott. 201 out of 325 for the Los Angeles Chargers. That'll be for Scott Cooper. There's Todd Gurley and the Rams. Piece of the glove, piece of the jersey. 20 out of 25. Nice tools of the trade for the Rams. That one is for Joseph Johns. Rams with that big win. Uh, there's Brown's edition of Kenny Britt. And there's Eli Manning, who looked a little lost without Odell Beckham Jr. Giants failing to score more than a field goal. Got beaten by the Cowboys 19-3.
Panthers did what they need to do. They went to San Francisco. They beat the uh, hapless Niners, twenty-three to uh, twenty-three to three. Looks like they were fine. They looked they looked good. Christian McCaffrey getting a little bit of work in. Be interesting to see how his career develops throughout the season. Good for the hobby as well. All those all those rookies. I want them to have great weeks every week. And that only makes these products better and better. Makes people more excited about the hobby. Not Arthur says 0 and 16 for the Niners. Yeah, I believe it or not. Yeah, the Niners might may as well just sign Kaepernick back. Are they going to really keep running with Brian Hoyer? That's not. That's not unless they're tanking, which they might be. The Sunday night game, Cowboys looked good. 19 to 3. Not a high scoring game, but hey, Cowboys did what they need to do at home. They looked good. Dak Prescott looking good, picking up where he left off. Rookie Reflex Niners, Solomon Thomas, 63 at 325. Arthur saying the Niners are going to go 0-16. It's hard to go undefeated. I feel like it's it's as hard to go undefeated as it is to go defeated the entire season. Niners, that's the X line with that one. Tools of the trade, Devontae Adams. That's kind of a cool patch right there. I don't know what that's part of, but 64 at 99, maybe a glove, piece of the glove. Tools of the trade, Packers, that'll go to Mike Coster. There's Des Bryant. Des Bryant looked good. And healthy Eddie, I didn't see a lot of Eddie Lacy, right? On Saturday, it didn't seem like there was a lot of Eddie Lacy going on. Marcus Allen to four ninety nine for the X line. So Cowboys nineteen three. Uh, then there were the Monday night games. There's the juice OJ Howard two seventy five at two nine. Haven't even seen him in action yet. With the with their week one buy because of the hurricane. This goes to the Buccaneers, Scott V, with the juice. There's Brian Hill, saw his printing plate earlier. Three out of 25 for the Dirty Birds, Falcons, Josh Andrews. Kenny G, had a great day at the office. Three out of 99, kind of looks uh, looked like it was gonna be just a slow game for him, but came on strong. Latavius Murray didn't do much, but they didn't need him to do much. Vikings 29-19 over the Saints. Vikings look good. Saints did not look good. It's Bucky Hodges 224 out of 499. Sam Bradford looked good. Dalvin Cook looked good. Nice Jim Otto. Marks of fame for my Raiders. 24 out of 25. Michael G with my Raiders. Absolute rookie jerseys, Deonta Foreman, 48 out of 99. Already making a change at the quarterback position out there, Texans. That goes to Jeremy Merle. There's Emmanuel Sanders, and there's Big Ben Roethlisberger. Two boxes to go. And the last game was last night's... Uh, Thriller, actually. It didn't start out like that, but ended as a thriller. I don't know if any of the East Coasters are up late for that one. Chargers, Broncos. Broncos taking their foot off the gas just a little bit. Second half of the game, allowing the Chargers to get back into it, especially in the fourth quarter. Some untimely turnovers. So the Chargers scoring 14 points in the fourth quarter. And then they kept driving it down the line, and then the uh, then they got within field goal range to tie the game. And out comes rookie Korean American kicker uh, Young Ho Young Hui Ku, who kicked it, made it, but there was a timeout, so they had him do it again. And then he tried a second time, and then. Some, uh, some Bronco put his uh, got his hand on the ball, deflected, and that was the game. That was a crazy finish. 
Adam Shaheen, 456 out of 499. For the